Now that you know all the problems associated with biliary sludge and gallstones, the next question is, what can we do about it? Well, if the stones are large enough, your doctor may recommend surgical removal of the gallbladder. While taking out the gallbladder will rid a person of any stones that have formed in that gallbladder, it does nothing for the gallstones that are in other locations, nor can it do anything about the cause of the gallstones. In fact, even with the gallbladder surgically removed, gallstones can, and often will, continue to form in the liver and in the hepatic ducts because the underlying cause of the thickening of the bile and the formation of the gallstones has not been addressed. This is why some people who get their gallbladders removed find that their symptoms come back again as new gallstones form in other locations. Moreover, the gallbladder is not a useless organ. Its job is to store bile and only release it when food is present. Without a gallbladder, bile leaks continually into the small intestines in little drips rather than in sufficient amounts when you need it. Think of it this way. Imagine if one day you came home and found that your plumber removed all the faucets in your house. In their place, he just left the pipes sticking out of the walls, slowly dripping water. Without the faucet's ability to control water flow, not only would you be wasting water when you didn't need it, but you wouldn't be able to get enough when you did. Surgically removing the gallbladder is exactly like removing the faucets from your house. Another option is to do something called a liver gallbladder flush. This typically involves drinking water with Epsom salts for several hours to relax the gallbladder and then drinking a glass of olive oil mixed with lemon juice. While this flush will often result in hundreds of small green stones going into the toilet the next day, up to 12 of these flushes is usually needed to get all the stones out. And no matter how many flushes you do, two weeks after your last flush you're back to making more biliary sludge and gallstones because again the cause of these problems was not addressed. We said at the beginning of this presentation that the causes of biliary sludge and gallstones were nutritional deficiencies and toxicity. Let's talk more about that now. There are three ingredients that the body uses to dissolve biliary sludge and gallstones and to keep the bile in liquid form. They are the amino acids glycine and taurine and phosphatidylcholine. As long as these ingredients are available, bile will stay liquid, but the moment they are in short supply, biliary sludge and gallstones will start to form. The problem is that in addition to keeping the bile healthy, these three ingredients are also used for detoxification. Glycine and taurine are involved in a detoxification process called peptide conjugation, and phosphatidylcholine is used in a detoxification process called methylation. Now, if we were only exposed to toxins once in a while, it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> but in today's world, we are chronically exposed to toxins. As a result, we end up being continually deficient in these three ingredients. Take chlorine, for example. As a disinfectant, chlorine is one of the great public health success stories of the 20th century. When it was first used to purify water in the early 1900s, typhoid fever, cholera, and dysentery virtually disappeared from the U.S. But there is a price to pay for using it. Chlorine is very irritating to the body, so it must be detoxified. And the only way chlorine can be detoxified is with glycine and taurine. Since we are exposed to chlorine compounds with every glass of water we drink and every shower we take, it's easy to see how our glycine and taurine levels are lowered every day. Adrenaline and noradrenaline are two other examples. 
These two hormones are created every time we experience fear or anger. While they are useful in emergencies, if they stay in the body for more than a short time, they can cause terrible damage. Methylation is the pathway the body uses to get rid of both adrenaline and noradrenaline. One of the main methyl donors for the methylation pathway in the body is phosphatidylcholine. Thus, the more stressed we are, the lower our levels of phosphatidylcholine become. These are just two examples of how toxins, both internal and external, can cause us to become chronically deficient in glycine, taurine, and phosphatidylcholine. So, why not just take these three ingredients in an oral supplement? Wouldn't that work? Only partially. You see, the body has many uses for these three ingredients, and if you take them orally, they will be shared by all the systems of the body. What we need is a way to get these ingredients right to the liver, where the bile is made in the first place. With these facts in mind, we have created Glitamins suppositories. Glitamins suppositories contain glycine, taurine, and phosphatidylcholine to help support the body in both dissolving biliary sludge and gallstones as well as preventing them from recurring. Also, since glitamins are in suppository form, they are able to deliver the ingredients directly to the liver through the portal vein for greater effect. The glitamins formula also contains the herbs bupleurum, peppermint, and chanca piedra. These herbs are used to further help the liver detoxify and to help relax the gallbladder so that as the bile begins to flow, stones can pass out more easily. In addition, scientific studies have shown that chanca piedra can both dissolve and prevent uric acid and oxalate crystallizations. Since these are the main ingredients found in kidney stones, glitamins may help support the body in dissolving kidney stones as well. Properly liquefied bile both dissolves and prevents gallstones. It neutralizes stomach acids before they can burn the small and large intestine stimulates healthy peristalsis, balances the immune system, protects the liver and pancreas from caustic alkali burns, kills parasites and candida, and allows the removal from your body of toxic fats and cholesterol. For more information about glitamins, or to order this beneficial product, contact the healthcare professional who gave you this CD.